Hey Aquarius, welcome to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot, or welcome back if you're returning. Thank you so much guys, if you are. Appreciate you all who come back and support the channel every month. You're amazing, I love you. If you're new, I love you too. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'm glad you found the channel. Hope it resonates with you, this reading. If it doesn't, be sure to check out your other placements before checking out. You might find something there that does. If it does resonate, guys, please hit that thumbs up and help grow the channel so I can continue to bring you the free readings on YouTube. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can find my email address in the description box below the video. You will also find there the link to my Patreon page where, where I'll be uploading an extended version of this reading. You can actually get access to all 12 of my Zodiac reading extensions for just $3.33 over there on Patreon. And thank you so much to my existing patrons. You guys are amazing. I love you. Hope you all are having a great month. All right, so let's get started. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. It is timeless or meant to be. Uh, play. It's meant to play out over the next 30 days from whenever you're led to this reading. I am recording it on Halloween 2021. Happy Halloween, everybody. And let's see, Aquarius, you know, it looks like you just found out something about this person. I'm very sorry, but it looks like you just had quite a, well, looks like an earth shattering type of moment. We have the lightning card coming up here. I feel like and it's coming up with deception and denial. Let me just jump right to it, okay, Aquarius? You're dealing with a Decepticon, it appears. Okay, someone has, well, lied to you or deceived you in some way, and spirits are urging you and encouraging you to, de to detach with love, to clearly see the truth. Okay, this came out rather suddenly. I feel like there was some shocking news or you had some sort of sudden epiphany, and it's caused ma major upheaval in your life, definitely in this relationship. Um, it was because not only is the lightning card here, guys, but what we have in the past, the recent past is the decadence, which is the tower energy. So something just came crumbling down in this connection and it has to do with a lie or a false mask. I mean, it doesn't have to be an outright lie. It could be just somebody hiding their feelings, but I feel like, uh, I just kind of feel like this person might, uh, have... They were keeping something from you, okay? Now, I do see separation here, so I feel like you have removed your energy from this person. It says time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Coming up with it, I love this, time apart. Some distance will help bring you clarity. So from both of these decks, you have this time apart card, okay? So it's necessary, okay? You did the right thing, right? Right now, we have the mirror card coming up here. You guys might be doing a little mirroring of each other. Okay, but re relationships, this relationship is reflecting on your wounds. You're probably being very introspective right now, which is exactly what you need so that you can detach with love to clearly see the truth. There's a message of clarity here. Clearly see the truth with the denial card and some distance will help bring clarity. I feel like this person may have been one of those, I don't know, like they kept you up in, you know, just like in a cloud of smoke or smoke and mirrors. Ooh, mirror, smoke and mirrors. Like you just never really knew what was going on with this person. Like I feel like, there was a cloud of uh, mystery around them, okay? The connection's just stuck, and maybe that's the way it should be. It says right here that you guys do need time apart, so it is meant to be stuck right now. The Knight of Pentacles coming up in reverse. We do have Raw Morganite coming up as your Crystal Spirit, number 46. That's a one. What's interesting about that is that you have Lizard Spirit coming up for your Spirit Animal, which is 38, which is an 11. So 111. You guys could be seeing 111 a lot okay but raw morganite spirit i'm going to read to you a little bit about it it's to help you uh in your relationships help you just stay kind and stay gentle and calm i'm going to read it to you but the lizard spirit i feel is telling you to dream the world into being i feel like you need to focus on your future and dream the kind of partner that you really want you obviously don't want someone who keeps secrets from you keeps you in the dark has shrouded in mystery. I mean, maybe you do. If you're Scorpio, you might like those mysterious people. But let me tell you, you, as a Scorpio, I was telling him in Scorpio, you might like to uncover, you know, the layers of the onion of the person and all that. But like, if there's, if you're finding lies and all that stuff, Scorpio can't stand that. But it's not just about Scorpio. It's anybody. Nobody can. Okay. If you're having trouble actually getting to the bottom and if they're a liar, you can't ever get to the bottom of a liar. Okay. You can't. There's always another lie. All right, so let's read to you about what raw morganite says, just a little bit. It says, morganite is a gentle heart cleansing stone that is valuable when we wish to release old patterns, wounds, and blockages that are obstacles to loving relationships with others. Meditation with this stone allows connection to divine love, which eases fear of vulnerability and allows us to be open to receiving love from others and from spirit. So I feel like <clears throat> you may have a, a tendency, Aquarius, to attract 
uh, these types of energies. I feel like this is some sort of, like we have this mirror here, the, re the relationships reflect our own old wounds. I feel like you have a wound, Aquarius, that is causing you to attract these types of energies. Okay, maybe you are starting to detach with love to clearly see the truth that you're recognizing a pattern within yourself. Okay, and so now spirit wants you with lizard spirit to dream a new person. Maybe you need to change your type. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm hearing. You need to consciously change your type, Aquarius. Okay, you might be attracted to the bad boy, bad girl type. Um, and maybe you need to change that. And you can, our tastes change as we grow older. I mean, you might not have liked tomatoes when you were a kid. And now you do. So maybe you didn't like good boys or good girls when you were a kid. But when you were, you know, a teenager or whatever, when you were young, and maybe you can going forward, because listen, the bad boy, bad girl is just bringing you heartache. Okay, they're lying. All right. And then you find these big bombs all of a sudden drop and you're like, oh my gosh. And I feel like also the raw Morganite helps you to help forgive yourself. You may be struggling to forgive yourself. Like, how did I miss this? How could I have fallen for this? You know, uh, you are successfully detaching. I mean, it's difficult. I feel like you are having a difficult time, but the six of swords detachment coming up here, spirit advising you to detach with love. I think you realize it's time to move on or it's at least time to to take a time out. I mean, and spirit is definitely in your corner on that one, okay? That six of swords comes after the five of swords, which is very egoic, tit for tat, you know, energy that's like fighting and it's manipulation. It's nothing good, the five of swords and the upright, okay? I mean, except maybe being determined, but it's usually not with good motives. And so you've been through that with this person. It's wanting to reach higher ground, that six of swords, just wanting to move on and find your peace again. Okay, because this was a big upheaval, whatever happened. We've got that upheaval card. And it is meant to transform you and transform your life, okay, uh, in some way for the better. Okay, maybe it's meant to change your taste. Maybe after this person, you'll have a bad taste in your mouth for those types of people. And you will make better choices going forward, okay? So your person does feel regret. They're sipping a drink called regret right now, Aquarius. Okay, the five of cups. They're like, I can't believe I did this. I lost Aquarius. Yeah, well, that's just too bad. But does this person regret lying or does this person just regret getting caught? We don't know. We'll clarify in a minute. All right, but the decadence I told you is in your in your past. Okay, that's the tower energy. Abruption. Something abruptly came to an end. You found out something and it was a major upheaval. Major upheaval. Right now, the four of pentacles is the blockage, the obstacle. In this deck, it's greed. So somebody may have been a little greedy. Maybe your person was. They were maybe trying to have their cake and eat it too kind of energy and had to lie to you in order to continue that dance. Could be. Um, but the four of pentacles is just both of you all being closed off and guarded. Heart chakras being kind of blocked at this time or at least being protected. Okay. Not wanting to lose anything else. Your person's probably going to come and reveal something to you. The seven of cups are what I tell you. This person was shrouded in mystery. They kept you in the dark about everything. You just really never knew what the hell was really going on with this person. Okay. It's like a cloud of smoke. They came in with a cloud of smoke and left with a cloud of smoke as quickly as they came in. Right. Um, and this could just be the lie. All right. This person may have had a lot of other options uh, with the seven of cups in the reverse. That is them coming to reveal something, clear something up. They want to clear something up with you. If there were other options, they may be eliminating them and coming your way to choose you, but I'm not sure that you're uh, interested at this point, you know? But the Seven of Cups definitely speaks of revealing something to you or clearing something up, clearing up some confusion. Okay, there's definitely been some confusion and uh, because we need clarity, right? We see that clarity is needed. So that what's the opposite of clarity is in clarity, confusion, phase, not really understanding what's going on. So this person is going to actually come and shed some light on this situation so that you have a little more clarity. All right. But you're being advised the four of swords. You need healing, Aquarius. The four of swords. That's, uh, well, healing. It's taking a break. Time apart. Rest. Relaxation. Recovery. Okay. Meditation. Really thinking about the situation. Okay. But mostly healing. And also this is in your advice telling you, you know, just to lay low, be quiet. Maybe, you know, this time apart, no contact. The Four of Swords is definitely a no contact card, okay? So your outcome is the Two of Swords, which is a choice. It's like a stalemate energy, though, also. Uh, the Two of Swords is like an impasse that you guys cannot pass, okay? It can just be a choice, but it is a stuck energy. And it, you know, with the Two of Swords, with the Four of Pentacles, they both have an energy of 
uh, guarding, guardedness, okay? Blocking. There's a blocking energy here, all right? So let's see where this goes. We're going to clarify now. And, you know, keep in mind, if you want to know even more, Patreon, I will be getting um, many oracle cards as well as looking at a lesson you've been learning with this person and get you direct messages from them with the Hidden Truth Oracle. If you're interested, don't forget to hit that like button, guys, please. Subscribe, share, leave me your comments. All right, Spirit, please clarify these cards in the order that they're laid out, two by two, for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus in Aquarius. And their person of interest, what is going on? Please clarify these cards in the order that they're already laid out, two by two, for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus and their person of interest. For the next 30 days out, from whenever they're led to watch this timeless reading, With two cards, Spirit, please clarify the overall energy that's connecting Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus and their person of interest as of right now. All right. Are the top 14 cards the correct cards to clarify, the ones that are already laid out here, two by two? And are the two cards at the bottom of the deck the overall energy for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus, and their person of interest. If you're new, guys, you'll see that I use my pendulum to determine the direction of the cards. I don't just take the reversals as they come out. Upright or reverse the Ace of Swords. Yeah, again, more lack of clarity. You're like in a haze right now. Upright or reverse the Queen of Swords. And you are hella pissed off about it. That's what I get. It's like all of a sudden a major stop. Like something came out. You got clarity about something. Okay, like you found out something, but still there's a lot of mystery surrounding that entire situation and you want to know more. You're dying to know more, really, but you're also pissed off. I mean, the Queen of Swords in the reverse, there's not any communication really in this connection right now, but also this is somebody that's very mad. Okay, uh, the Queen of Swords doesn't mess around in the upright, all right? She doesn't mince words. She says what she means and means what she says. And in the reverse, I mean, it can be a deceptive energy in the reverse, absolutely. But it's also like cutting your head off, like verbally chopping your head off. That's what you're ready to do with this person after what you found out, okay? Ace of Swords here, again, a general lack of clarity, like not really understanding the truth of what's really going on and feeling very stuck in the meantime. Stuck in your anger too, possibly, needing to detach because that anger is just going to eat you up, okay? So let's see, you're trying to detach and move on with the Six of Swords, upright or reverse, the Two of Wands. You realize that this connection and you, yourself, are at the crossroads. You've got to make the choice to do it. You just got to do it. Upright or reverse, the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, see, these three cards together, you're still somewhat invested in this connection whether you want to admit it or not because the two of wands here is like you're making a choice you're at the crossroads what do you do do you continue to move forward in this connection slowly cautiously or do you just detach and move on okay that's where you are right now aquarius you're trying to decide what do you do here now that you know what you know what do you do do you give this person the benefit of the doubt go forward with caution proceed with caution or do you just pull out and i feel like right now you've pulled out and that's where you are or you're really, really right there about to, but you're still invested with that Knight of Pentacles in the upright. You still, have, there's still a part of you that wants to invest here, but you're just really cautious. And you probably, you're cautious for a reason. You know it's probably not the best choice. Your person's regretful, of course. Upright or reverse, the Page of Pentacles. Yes, they want to apologize. They may want to bring you a gift or send you flowers to make it up to you with the Page of Pentacles. Upright or reverse the Page of Cups. Yeah, and there will be a very sweet note attached to those flowers. Baby, please forgive me. I'm so sorry. Or, you know, just you're everything to me or whatever. I mean, it's a page, so it's small, but it, it doesn't... That's just a note or whatever. It doesn't have to be like they're not saying anything significant. It just means that it's, you know, like a message or something like that, right? It's a it's the Page of Cups. There's def They definitely want to communicate, okay? But again, with the Page of Pentacles, they want it to be very good, solid communication. They want to tell you how much they do care about you and how sorry they are. Both these cards can be an apology. They clearly have regret. 
Okay, but again, with an apology and all that regret and the Page of Pentacles being something solid, typically, this person may send you flowers, okay, or something like that. Some kind of gift. I mean, if you're, you know, something. Bring something to you or something to try to win you over, right? To try to make it up to you. All right, so in the past, the tower fell upright or reverse, the two of swords, a, a sudden blockage, a roadblock. As soon as that tower hit, I'm like picturing a bunch. I'm picturing you guys are on a road, all right? And all of a sudden, like the tower, lightning strikes the trees or something and everything falls down to the ground or the tower and it falls in your road. Like all of the rubble is in the road and there's a block. You cannot pass this. You cannot ignore this tower. This is something that is not ignorable. You cannot sweep this under the rug. There is an impasse now. Upright or reverse the two of pentacles. Yes, and you just, you pulled out. You dropped this person. Okay, you just suddenly dropped this person because you had no choice. Like, how could you ignore what you just found out? <laughs> Whatever it is, you could not ignore it. And all of a sudden, put you on pause. You went, boom, push that pause button. Like, no, no, I got to pull out of this. Pause and rewind. Okay. Um, right now, you're guarded. Of course you are, but your person is too. Upright or reverse, the five of swords. Yeah, I told you that six of swords where you are, where, where you're feeling right now, you want to get past this five of swords energy. It is not pleasant. Upright or reverse, the three of wands. There's distance. Some of you guys might live at a distance from this person. And unfortunately, with the three showing up here and deception and all that shit and the five of swords, there might have been another person, guys. I'm sorry if you found out that there was a third party situation. It's such a tired story, I know. But it's just out there, unfortunately. Everybody is just fucking everybody. And it's pretty annoying, ain't it? <laughs> um, but that's just what's going on. All right? So some of y'all are definitely dealing with third-party energy. You found out about another person, another lover. All right? I'm sorry. Um, but there's distance. You guys may live at a distance from this person. If you don't, then there's just emotional distance. And you're trying to decide what to do uh, and plan both of you are trying to come up with a plan or something, but of how to get past this five of swords, but you're both very closed off, obviously, and guarded. The five of swords energy is there's fighting. There's just, there's a very egoic energy. You're both bowed up. Let's, I just bowed up. You're both bowed up towards each other. Like your person's probably defensive, even though they know they're wrong. They know they're wrong, but they're probably a little bit defensive energy because they don't know what you're going to do because you're in queen of swords and reverse energy. Oh my gosh. They, they should be scared. What you're going to say, Queen of Swords is not necessarily going to do anything, but man, they don't mince words. The Queen of Swords will cut you down to size with her words. Male or female, it doesn't matter. All right. So <clears throat> this person does want to clear things up with you, though, and they're likely to do that upright or reverse the Ten of Cups. Hmm. What they want to clear up is how happy you make them. But but hello, they haven't made you happy with whatever they've been keeping from you. Upright or reverse, the page of wands. Yeah, so they definitely want to clear things up with you. They they, they really want happily ever after with you. This is their most likely next move. They want a family. They want to reconcile. The Ten of Cups is certainly reconciliation. They want to clear things up. Clear it up that you're the one they want. You're the one they want to spend their life with. You're the one that makes them happy. You're the one that lights their fire with the page of wands there. That's a passionate message or a fun message, maybe sexy, which might irritate you. Um, if they come in but like that, it could be a meme or something like that, you know, but you will get a message from this person and it's meant to let you know or at least get the ball rolling again so that they can somehow clear things up with you because, well, you're their happiness. Uh, but, you know, like I said... It's very difficult to get to the bottom of a liar. I don't know that you can. So you'll have to decide. And I know that you do have a decision. That's there. That's you and the outcome with the two of swords with a decision to make. Okay. You made a decision already to pull out from this person. But I guess when they come back, you're going to have to decide whether you're going to stay. Uh, stay away or go for it. All right. So your advice, the four of swords, take a minute. Aquarius, upright or reverse, the seven of swords. Hmm. <clears throat> don't let this person get away with it. Absolutely not. Don't let this person get away with anything. Upright or reverse the Eight of Swords and stop overthinking. Okay, so you need to see the truth, obviously. With the Seven of Swords in the reverse, it's seeing the truth about a situation. It's 
this person may be coming your way to come clean. Okay, I told you that they are. They're going to be coming to clear something up. Okay, you, you've been worrying too much. This has robbed you of your peace, Aquarius. With the Eight of Swords energy, you need to stop that. You've put uh, too much. That you're Because this person is so mysterious or has left you in the dark, it's literally let, left you to come up with all these, uh, you know, different scenarios. The uh, Lizard Spirit uh, also says something about that, like, accidentally like dreaming up fear fantasies fear there's such thing as fear fantasies where all of a sudden your mind just starts going and stirring up these crazy you know ideas of what could be happening and you don't really know and it's that's what happens when somebody leaves you in the dark okay you're left to your own devices to try to figure things out and sometimes you know you your mind gets away with you right so you've just been trying to figure this out without all the information it's driving you crazy aquarius you've got to stop that Okay, don't let this person get away with it. All right, the Four of Swords is saying you need to take some time. All right, you need to heal from this. This could be advising you to go no contact. Now, you have to take your intuition, use your intuition to determine that. And you don't ever have to take Spirit's advice, it's just advice, like a good friend that has more information than you do. Okay, so but uh, again, you never have to. You can use your intuition and you can decide. The universe will, of course, correct you if you make the wrong decision, just so you know, <laughs> all right? Uh, but uh, because you can't make a decision until you're ready, right? So Spirit's advising you, and they want you to be ready, but if you're not ready, you're not ready, you know? But either way, don't let this person get away with whatever it is that they did. Definitely make sure, hold them to a standard of truth, and make sure you get all of the truth I'm getting with the Seven of Swords in reverse. So let's see about this outcome. Keep in mind, again, like I said, you can get more about how your person feels about you, what they're most likely to do next, get you more advice as well as more on your outcome uh, if you follow me to Patreon. Otherwise, let's go ahead and see about this outcome now. The Two of Swords. Upright or Reverse, The Magician. Upright or Reverse, The Knight of Swords. Hmm. Well, I'll be interested to see how this clarifies in the extended because let me look at this for a second, guys. The two of swords is definitely, well, it says here confusion too. Actually, we know there's been a lot of confusion, but your person wants to come in and clear up the confusion. Okay. So the magician could be your person. It's a Gemini Virgo energy. Let me see what else we have here. You don't have a lot of major arcana. We do have tower energy, which is Scorpio. And um, other than that, Guys, you really don't have a lot of major arcana. That's your only major arcana. Keep in mind there's a Scorpio new moon. <coughs> Excuse me, coming up this Thursday if you're watching this in October or in real time in 2021. So, but this is the past energy, so I feel like that's what just happened. So anyway, but yeah, I do feel like um, this is your, your other major arcana, Gemini Virgo energy. This is an energy of, well, manifesting. And uh, what you might be manifesting is a fight, <laughs> okay? Um, the confusion is actually like manifesting. You're, you're, you might actually reach out to this person, even though Spirit's advising you not to, because you just have so much you want to say. You have so much you want to get off your chest to this person. Maybe you feel like you need to do that before you can move on. Um, but I do see words being had, exchange of words. The Knight of Swords is not usually very pleasant. It could just be implying speed here, guys. We are going to get more in the extended if you want to follow me over there. The Magician typically uh, talks about having what it takes. Okay, so I feel like this is telling you that you do have what it takes to make this decision. Okay, whatever decision that you are going to have to make, whether or not to take this person back or not, when they come forward and clear things up with you. All right, please keep in mind the Magician, well... The magician manipulates energy, okay? It's not in the reverse, so I'm not seeing, like, devilish manipulator here. But uh, the five of swords is manipulative energy. The deception is manipulation. So, you know, spirit could be advising you just don't allow yourself to be manipulative. I mean, look at him. He's kind of on guard. Like, be on guard for that. This person might be a silver-tongued devil. All right? So don't let them schmooze you. Make sure you get all of the truth is what uh, spirit is advising you here. Okay, so if you guys want to follow me over to Patreon and get more, the link is below. Otherwise, if this is where we part ways, thank you so much, guys. Do appreciate you all. I hope you have a beautiful, blessed month. Happy Halloween today. And I will check you all back in 30. Thanks again so much. Bye.